Most of us know about the prophecy of Isaiah about the birth of Jesus Christ in chapter 9, verse number 6. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end, and upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. God said, I'm going to give a son. I'm going to send my son, and his name is going to be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. You know, God understands us, and he knows what we need. And so he said, what I'm going to send to the earth is going to be exactly what people need. First of all, he's going to be wonderful. Second of all, he's going to be a counselor. He's going to be able to lead them and guide them to help them to go from where they are and to solve some problems and give them the information they need to get to where I want them to be. He's going to be the mighty God. Jesus is not just, just a person that was here on the earth, but he truly is the mighty God. He came in the name of his Father. He, we understand that it was, a, it was a position that needed to be done so that he could sacrifice, be sacrificed on Calvary so our sins could be forgiven and the law would be fulfilled. And he is the mighty God. He is also the everlasting Father because there's only one God. And when you looked at Jesus back then when he walked on the earth, you didn't see all of God. You saw the fullness of God, but not all of him, because God was still everywhere. He fills all time and all space. He is everywhere, and he's all-powerful. And so Jesus, as he came, was the mighty God, and he was the everlasting Father. And then finally, the Prince of Peace. God knows where you're at. He sees what's going on, and God wants you to have peace. And so as Isaiah penned the words that God had given him about the coming Messiah, he said, when you call the name, when you call the name of Jesus, you're going to get wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, and the prince of peace all wrapped up into one. So I, I adjure you, call him a name. Do everything in the name of Jesus. We're baptized in his name. We walk in his name. We pray in his name. Because, my friend, the name of the one, the true living God, is Jesus. And I'm so thankful that he wrapped himself in flesh and he came as a baby. And he gave his life as an adult on that cross so that you and I could have the opportunity of forgiveness and eternal life. So call on the name of Jesus often. Call on him and allow Jesus to come into your life. And allow the Lord to be everything that's in his name because he really is everything that you need. God bless you. Have a great day. Share these with others. And we'll see you on the next Daily Devotional.